well uh, this time we are going to uh, compute mean moments indirectly so by indirectly we mean first of all we would calculate the raw moments and then we will convert it into mean moments uh, from the previous lecture as we already discussed there for ungrouped data since this data is ungrouped data and you know for ungrouped data the first four moments calculated by these four formulas right for these formulas we need uh, a as provisional mean you can take any value out of these values as a for example i want to take it a is equal to 4 so suppose this is equal to this is equal to a this is my a, a is equal to 4 all right so what i'm going to do is i have to uh, generate these four columns equal to x minus a if you want to constantly subtract this value from this whole column you have to press a 4 from your keyboard so i pressed it enter and now you have to drag it so you are done with x minus a before further discussion you guys are requested to like this video subscribe to show academy and press the bell icon to get regular updates of this channel now you need to calculate x minus a square so equal to x minus a for power you uh, press shift and 6 and you take square so press 2 enter and similarly you are done with this column as well then you need x minus a cube equal to this is x minus a power 3 and this is x minus a cube and ultimately you need equal to x minus a to the power 4 and this is x minus a to the power 4 so are you are done with this now you need to add these columns adding the first one this is equal to minus 1 and if you drag it to the right you get the sum of all these uh, columns so this is summation x minus a this is summation x minus a square this is x minus a cube and this is x minus a to the power 4 all right now you need uh, these uh, these uh, raw moments so first round is equal to summation x minus a divided by n so clearly this is equal to summation x minus a is equal to this value and it should divided by n is equal to 12 so this is equal to the first raw moment now you need x minus a square x minus a square is equal to this value and it should be divided by the number and this is equal to this is the second raw moments equal to summation x minus a cube and it should be divided by the number and this is equal to the third raw moment and this is equal to x minus a to the power of 4 it should be divided by the number and this is the fourth raw moment so i have calculated all the four first second third and fourth raw moments now i want to convert it into mean moments how can we convert it look at it equal to the first mean moment minus the first mean moment again again press on it so you get zero the first mean moment is always equal to zero all right now you need the second mean moment for the second mean moment this is equal to a second raw moment minus first raw moment square so this is equal to the second raw moment is equal to this or minus the first raw moment is this one and take it square so power 2 this is the this is the second mean moment so the second raw moment is converted into mean moments by this way this is the first mean moment this is the second mean moment now you need the third mean moment again you have to apply this formula to convert the raw moments into the mean moment so clearly this is equal to m3 prime m3 prime is equal to this value minus 3 into m1 prime m1 prime is equal to this into m2 prime m2 prime is equal to this because m3 prime minus 3 into m1 prime m2 prime plus 2 m1 prime cube plus 2 into m1 prime cube this is m1 prime press on it again to the power 3 so this is equal to the third mean moment and ultimately you need the fourth mean moment which is equal to m4 prime m4 prime minus 4 m1 prime m3 prime and so on m4 prime is equal to this minus 4 into m1 prime m1 prime is equal to this into m3 prime m3 prime is equal to this value m1 prime m3 plus 6 m1 prime square plus 
6 into m1 prime square is equal to this into uh, m1 prime square into m2 prime m2 prime is equal to this value or minus minus 3 into m1 prime cube minus 3 into m1 prime to the power 4 sorry this is m1 prime and to the power 4 so this is equal to it has converted you can do the same exercise in your calculator i did it in excel for the sake of simplicity and time saving okay so this is your m1 this is m2 this is m3 and this is m4 so this is the indirect way to calculate your mean moments from raw moments you can compare these results with the previous results where i uh, directly calculated the first four mean moments 0 3.07 Look at it 0 3.07 3.68 so this is uh, this is also 3.68 and 32.18 and look at it this is also equal to 32.18 so these directly mean moments are just similar to the indirect mean moments so this is another way to calculate it, your first four mean moments uh, I have not do the rest of the computation rather uh, I can calculate a uh, mean etc mean is equal to a plus m1 prime so this is equal to if you want to calculate mean mean is equal to a plus m1 prime m1 prime is equal to this right press enter so this is 3.91 is the arithmetic mean if you calculate uh, compute it uh, if you compare it with this mean 3.91 triple six seven so this is exactly equal to this arithmetic mean look at it so in case of raw moments so your mean is equal to provisional mean plus the first raw moment right and this is your variance this is just similar to the variance obtained over here 3.07 this is the variance this is equal to m2 so again this is similar to m2 and this is this is the variance 3.07 in the same way this is your skewness and it has positive uh, signs so it means that your distribution is positively skewed in absolute form and in relative form uh, in 3 uh, square divided by m2 cube i have already did it over here uh, m3 square divided by m2 cube this is equal to 0.46 if you want to uh, verify it i, I can it look at it equal to m3 square divided by m2 cube this is m2 cube so look at it this is your 46.67 percent skewness in your data and this is just similar to this 46.67 all right and if you want to calculate your kurtosis it is again just similar to the previous results equal to m4 divided by m2 square this is m2 and put square over it and this is equal to 3.4 this is just similar to the previous results and this is this is your uh, the, your distribution as leptocortex so this is how to calculate uh, the first four moments uh, indirectly that is you calculate your raw moments then you convert it into your mean moments and then you extract arithmetic mean, variance, skewness and kurtosis from your ungrouped data. Thank you. Thanks for watching.